Commentary Vada Treasury Bodhisattva calls out and says, Disciples of the Buddha, do you know or not the Bodhisattva Mahasattva, the great Bodhisattva who cultivates the Bodhisattva way and accumulates all kinds of good rules, in this way protects and maintains the ten wholesome karmic paths constantly without interruption. He in that way protects and maintains the ten kinds of good ways and never stops doing so. He further makes the following reflection. He again thinks, all living beings who fall into the evil destinies, who fall to be hell beings, hungry ghosts or animals, all without exception, do so because of the ten unwholesome comic acts. It's because of committing the ten unwholesome deeds that they fall. Therefore, I should myself practice proper conduct. I myself should cultivate the proper conduct of the ten wholesome karmic acts and also encourage others to practice proper conduct. I should bring other living beings to cultivate proper conduct to practice the ten wholesome paths of karma. Why is that? If I myself am not able to cultivate proper conduct, should I be unable to do it myself? It would be impossible to make others cultivate it. It would not be correct to tell others to cultivate. Disciples of the Buddha, this Bodhisattva Mahasattva, the Bodhisattva who is great among Bodhisattvas, further makes the following reflection. He also thinks the ten unwholesome karmic paths, the ten kinds of bad deeds, are causes for undergoing rebirth in the house as an animal or as a hungry ghost. If you commit the ten unwholesome acts and you will fall into the three evil destinies, the ten unwholesome karmic paths are causes for receiving birth as a person or as a god up to the station of the summit of existence. If you practice the ten good deeds, then you may be born a person or be born in the heaven of the summit of existence, which is the highest heaven. It forms that kind of course. Furthermore, when the supreme grade of these ten wholesome karmic paths, the highest category of the ten wholesome deeds is cultivated by means of wisdom, and when one's mind is low and inferior, and when one fears the three realms when one has a very small mind or else is afraid of the suffering in the three realms and because one is deficient in great compassion, one should open up one's mind to become a great compassion mind and when one's understanding comes from hearing the sounds of others upon hearing someone else lecture sutras and speak the drama. When understands one understands one accomplishes the vehicle of a sound hearer. In that way, one can accomplish the vehicle of a sound hearer and become an ahat. Furthermore, when the supreme grade of these ten wholesome karmic paths, the highest category of the ten good deeds, is cultivated to purity when well cultivated and when one has not been touched by others but becomes enlightened on one's own when one does not hear others speak but one becomes enlightened to on one's own refers to the solitarily enlightened ones when one is not fully endowed with the great compassion or expedient means when one has not yet perfected great compassion or skilling means and so needs to cultivate the ten wholesome acts when one is enlightened through understanding of profound dramas of causes and conditions, one understands the interruptions of causes and conditions, those profound dramas. One accomplishes the vehicle of those solitarily enlightened. Then one becomes solitarily enlightened. Furthermore, when the supreme grade of these ten wholesome karmic paths is cultivated to purity, if you can cultivate it to total purity and one when one's mind is vast and limitless, 
when one is endowed with compassion and sympathy, when one uses its bedding means to gather in wings. When one brings forth great vows, when one does not abandon living beings, but forever teaches and transforms them, when one seeks the great wisdoms of all Buddhas, when one purifies and regulates all the Bodhisattva grounds to seek the great wisdom of a Buddha, one should cultivate the Dharma draws of the ten grounds. When one purely cultivates all the paramitas, cultivating all the six paramitas and the ten thousand practices of a Bodhisattva, one accomplishes the vast great conduct of a Bodhisattva. Furthermore, as to the most supreme great of these ten wholesome karmic paths, when one has purified all modes, when one has purified the wisdom of almost up to and including certifying to the ten powers and the four fearlessnesses, then one accomplishes all Buddha dramas, then one can bring all Buddha dramas to successful conclusion. Therefore, I now equally cultivate the ten wholesome paths, and I should bring them all to perfect purity. I should equally cultivate all the ten wholesome paths of karma to purity. The Bodhisattva should study such expedient means as those. Bodhisattvas should study and practice those kinds of expedient dharma doors. Sutra, disciples of the Buddha, this Bodhisattva Mahasattva further makes the following reflection of the ten unwholesome karmic paths. The most severe are causes for the health, the average degrees are causes for the animals, and the least severe are causes for the hungry ghosts. Among them, the offense of killing can cause living beings to fall to the house, animals, and hungry ghosts. If they are born among people, they have two kinds of retribution, one a short life, two many illnesses. The offense of stealing also causes living beings to fall into the three evil paths. If they are born among people, they have two kinds of retribution, one they are poor, two their wealth is held in common, and they do not have free use of it. Commentary Vara Treasury Bodhisattva again says, Disciples of the Buddha, this Bodhisattva Mahasattva, this great Bodhisattva, who cultivates the Bodhisattva way and accumulates all kinds of good rules, when he attains the position of the second ground, that of living filth, he further makes the following reflection. He makes another contemplation, saying, of the ten unwholesome karmic paths, the ten kinds of paths of karmic retribution which are not good, the most severe um, causes for the health, the most terrible and serious is that one has to fall into the health, the average degrees are uh, causes for the animals, the middle degree is that one has to become an animal, and at least Severe are causes for the hungry ghosts. The least serious is having to become a hungry ghost. Among them, the offense of killing can cause living beings to fall into their house, animals, and hungry ghosts. The first among the ten unwholesome karmic paths is the offense of killing, which makes living beings fall into the destiny of the house. There are millions upon millions of hells, not just one single hell. There are varieties, are uh, limitless. Hells are one of the three evil destinies, and so are the animals. There are also millions upon millions of different kinds of animals. There are also countless varieties of hungry ghosts of different species and types. If they are born among people, they have two kinds of retribution. If you commit the ten unwholesome karmic acts, afterwards you fall into the three evil destinies. When that is over and you are born as a person among people, you have two kinds of retribution coming to you. What are they? 
one a short life you like to kill when you have finished undergoing your retribution in the three evil paths and become a person you still have a short life maybe you will be born for a few days and then die or you may die after a few months or even a few years you undergo the retribution of having a short life to many illnesses perhaps your life won't be short but when you're a person you will always be sick if you don't have one illness you will have another that's from killing the second is the offense of stealing which also causes living beings to fall into the three evil paths it too makes all living beings who violate by committing the offense of stealing fall into the house the animals and the hungry ghosts those three evil paths if they are born among people they have two kinds of retribution one they are poor now you know why you are so poor is because you are you committed the offense of stealing too heavily in your previous lives so now you are destitute two their wealth is held in common and they do not have free use of it the first was being poor in the second you do have a little bit of money but it is jointly owned by someone else it's not entirely your own other people can tell you what to do with it they control it and so you can't use it freely as you wish sutra the offense of sexual misconduct is causes living beings to fall into the three evil paths if they are born among people they have two kinds of retribution one their wives will not be good or faithful two they will not have a retinue that of course with their intent the offense of lying also causes living being to fall into the three evil paths if they are born among people they have two kinds of retribution one they will be slandered a lot two they will be received by others the offense of double tongue also causes living beings to fall into the three evil paths if they are born among people they have two kinds of retribution one their retinue will be separated two their caste will be based the offense of harsh speech also causes living beings to fall into the three evil paths if they are born among people they have two kinds of retribution one they will always hear disagreeable sounds so they will be involved in many lawsuits commentary the offense of sexual misconduct also causes living beings to fall into the three evil paths sexual misconduct means sexual relations which are not sanctioned by law it means engaging in sexual relations with someone who is not your legal spouse as it is said of the myriad evils lust is foremost you should not walk down to road this road to death lust is the most evil of evils and it includes all other evils in it if you indulge in improper sexual relations then that is the worst kind of offense you are just hitting for death and it also makes living beings fall into the house the animals and the hungry ghosts those three evil paths if they are born among people should they obtain a human body they have two kinds of retribution one their wives will not be good or faithful the first is that their wife or husband will not be true to them will not be a good person the spouse will flagrantly violate the rules and will casually indulge in sexual relationship with anybody at all two they will not have a retinue that of course with their intent the second is that their household or circle of friends will not be a court with them they will always be fighting with other members in their retinue and never get along with them the offense of lying also causes living beings to fall into the three evil paths the the offense of constantly telling lies also causes living beings to fall into the hells the animals and the hungry ghosts if they are born among people they have two kinds of retribution this two entails two kinds of retribution which are one they will be standard a lot 
people will always slander you and say you are wrong. Two, they will be deceived by others. The second is that because you used to lie to other people, used to lie to other people, now people lie to you and cheat you. The offense of double tongue also causes living beings to fall into the three evil paths: the hells, the animals, and the hungry ghosts. If they are born among people, they have two kinds of retribution. One, their retinue will be separate, separated. Their household or circle of friends will be not united. They will always be separated from each other. Two, their caste will be based. Their relatives and those of the same race or caste as they are will be very ugly people, very unpleasant to look at. The offense of harsh speech. If you constantly commit the offense of harsh speech, this also causes living beings to fall into the three evil paths: the hells, the animals, the hungry ghosts. If they are born among people, they have two kinds of retribution. One, they will always hear disagreeable sounds, unpleasant sounds. Two, they will be involved in many lawsuits. At the drop of a hat, they will be involved in involved in arguments and disputes with people, or perhaps be sued in court, or themselves file lawsuits. Sutra, the offense of blue speech also causes living beings to fall into the three evil paths. If they born among people, they have two kinds of retribution. One, people will not accept what they say. Two, their speech will not be clearly understood. The offense of greed and desire also causes living beings to fall into the three evil paths. If they are born among people, they have two kinds of retribution. One, their minds will never know contentment. Two, they will have much desire, which will never. Be satisfied. The offense of anger and hatred also causes living beings to fall into the three evil paths. If they are born among people, they have two kinds of retribution. One, other people will always find faults with them, so they will constantly be troubled and harmed by others. Commentary: The offense of blue speech. Means always talking in ways that are not in accord with the rules, talking widely and saying whatever one pleases. It is saying all kind of defined and disordered things, making fun of other people. This offense also causes living beings to fall into the three evil paths: the hells, the hungry ghosts, and the animals. If they are born among people, when they have paid off. Their offenses in the three evil realms and become people again. They have two kinds of retribution. Again, the retribution is of two types, of which one is that people will not accept what they say. Nobody will listen to them when they talk. No one will pay attention. Two, their speech will not be clearly understood. The second is that when they speak, their words. Will not be clear, so no one will know what they are talking about. When they talk, people won't clearly hear what they have said. The offense of greed and desire also causes living beings to fall into the three evil paths: the hells, the hungry ghosts, and animals. When they have undergone their retribution in the three evil paths, if they are born among people, they have two kinds of retribution. One, their minds will never know contentment; they will never be satisfied. They will always feel that nothing is right. Two, they will have much desire, which will never be satisfied. They will always be greedy for this and greedy for that without satiation. That is because of having committed the offense of greed and desire. The offense of anger and hatred also causes living beings to fall into the three evil paths, where they have paid off their debts in the three evil destinies. If they are born among people, they have two kinds of retribution. One, other people will always find faults with them. People will always be saying of the person, "He's got this wrong with him, and that that wrong with him, and there is nothing right about him at all." 
So they will constantly be troubled and harmed by others. People will always give you a bad time, always give you trouble. No matter how good you are to people, they will try to do you in. So when people are not good to us, we should return the light and look within and think about how in our previous lives we certainly committed the offense of harsh speech, lying, loose speech and double tongue, greed, hatred and stupidity, killing, stealing and sexual misconduct and think so that's why people so are so bad to me this life and we should quickly repent and reform.